So guys, Stoomboy, MMA UK News, here with Chris, the bad guy, Bungard. Um, Holy Town Havoc, absolutely fantastic event. The place was jumping from start to finish. It was packed. Do you know what's unusual? You know, in some MMA events you come in and people don't come in until... Um, like the the professionals, uh, do you know what I mean? Whereas the queued, place was jumping. They were queued, they were queued from the amateurs. Aye. They were queued for an hour before they were allowed, allowed in. They actually came to say to me, like, we need to start letting people in. Yeah. So yeah. I knew it would happen. I knew it would happen. Just had to get it there. Um, yeah. But I put a lot of time and effort in there, especially the last couple of days. Yeah. Um, I was in here at midnight last night putting the cage up uh, all day today. And my teammates are fighting, I'm up and about, it's so fucking hot in here, everybody yeah, will tell you. Yeah. And I was like, am I going to have the energy for you? Um, don't get me wrong, when I was, was in there, I was like, I think I'm tired here, I'm too fucking hot. But <laughs> honestly, what a reception, like the atmosphere was fucking, I, I couldn't even speak when I had the mic, it was, it was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, it's a small cage, but it's a small, small intimate crowd, and, and you heard the atmosphere. The atmosphere was... One of the best I've ever had. Bro, I turned around, they were on the cage. It was just mental, man. <laughs> it was amazing, but honestly. Like, and that's one thing. Up. I mean, you were, you were, because we laughed, because you met me prepping for the fight, but you were running about, you were still doing yeah, stuff. Yeah, I was on the stage watching, like, Young Max, and then I was watching Gary and Dean. I was on the stage, like, in front of the commentators, and I was like, I was like, I need to calm down. And that was, that was before my boys Michael and Jordan, who have, I love to be you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, I can't watch him. I can't go and watch him. There were too, too much energy. And um, and then obviously what happened with Michael, and I was like, oh, it was, it was a tough one to watch when he was in the changing room. So I was like, like Michael, uh, like Jordan, sure done. Yeah. And then he comes back with a victory, and then I'm, then I'm back up, and I'm like, let's fucking go. But it, it was like it was like a football atmosphere in there. That's what it felt like, the energy. Was, yeah. Uh, it was so good. So, and then a lot of people were asking, "Holy Town have it too?" Um, probably, but it, it won't. It won't feature me definitely. No, that was that was too much to deal with. Um, I feel like I didn't get a proper refueling yesterday because I was I built in the cage with Sean Bonner. Um, we put him in the cage when I went up, and I feel like I was just I was drinking water still trying to refuel, and I feel like I was sweating because it was a workout trying to build the fucker. So I'd, I went home and I, I wasn't feeling myself. I'd, like, I felt like I was still drained. So yeah. then the day I was up early making sure everything was, it was just a lot of work. I might be bought off more than I can chew, but I, the juice is worth a squeeze, as you just seen. I'll get an interview, bro. I'll get an interview. <laughs> Sorry, man. Thank you. Um, but it's moments like that, seeing the cage after it, I was good to, like, since my papa died, I lost, twi I lost twice in Bellator, in Dublin and in Milan. So I was, I was one, I want to dedicate this one, and I want to dedicate it, and I kept losing. I'm like, I'm not losing. So it was good to finally get one for him, and obviously share it with everybody, man. But guys like you had a lot of people videoing it, and people going for Edinburgh, everybody. So it was all guys like you and the photographers, you, the commentators, Stuart. Paramedics, we're all a team, not mean. We, we make these shows look good, and and that's how it's so. Everybody loves it. So sorry about the noise. No, I definitely loved it. As I said, <laughs> I don't come to MMA events. I'm a jujitsu guy, yeah, you yeah. know. So I, I went to Evolution of Combat last week, yeah. and, uh, a couple of weeks ago, but then seeing this tonight, yeah. just blew oh, the roof off the place, man. You know what I mean? So, every every fight was amazing. Yes. Like every like every fight was close or a war. And competitive, there was no mismatches, and that everybody couldn't believe it. But it was just so fucking hot. It was hot as <laughs> shit in there, so hot, man. But God bless the barmaids. Everybody, they all done a job in that fucking heat, you know. Yes. So then, tomorrow, obviously, you're gonna go up the road and get some rest. Tomorrow, yeah, man. Um, what are we gonna do tomorrow? I gotta watch Celtic beat Rangers <laughs> at Ibrox. At Ibrox, baby. Um, but I hopefully. They just keep beating us, so hopefully we'll be beating them tomorrow, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we've got a good team now, so Aye. we're going to go and We're good going forward, but we're shooting it back, yes. so we'll probably about <laughs> five each or something. And then, last thing for you... Big Ange, come on! <laughs> and then, last thing for you, anybody you want to thank? Um, just everybody, like my teammates, everybody that's been there, my friends, family, my girlfriend, everybody, just even everybody that's here tonight. Yeah. Like, without these people, it wouldn't be as good, you know what I mean? So... Yeah. Yeah,
You know who you are, man. And you for this interview. <laughs> you, listen, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, man. Absolutely loved it. So, looking forward to the next one. Ah, you're always welcome at Holly Town, Havoc. Two. Definitely. Well, listen, Chris Bungard, Scottish Hit Squad. Thank you. The bad guy. Thank you. Thank you very much, mate.